Go ahead, Barbara. Hola, amigos. Thanks for tuning in today. We have been learning about insects and have been talking about bumblebees and we've been talking about butterflies and the life cycle of an insect. And we did this poem last time we were together. I'm going to start off by reading it. And I want you to be thinking about the four different stages of a butterfly. Here we go. First, I am a tiny egg, oh, so small. Then I am a caterpillar. See me crawl. There's the caterpillar. Next, I am a chrysalis. In my shell, I stay. Chrysalis. Last, I am a butterfly. Watch me fly away. There's the butterfly. So the first stage is egg, then it turns into a caterpillar. The fancy word, if it's not a butterfly in any insect, it's called a larva. Can you say larva? Good, larva. The next stage is a chrysalis or the pupa stage. Can you say chrysalis? Can you say pupa? And the last stage is butterfly or the adult. That's the adult stage. And then when they become an adult, what happens? They lay eggs and it happens all over again. Egg, larva, pupa, adult. Egg, larva, pupa, adult. Egg, larva, pupa, adult. Over here, it's in Spanish. Los huevos, la larga, la pupa, las adultas. Four different stages, both in English and Spanish. Okay, here comes my friend Buzz. Can you say hi to Buzz? Hi friends. Hi Buzz. You wanna play a game? He wants to play a game, he said. What game do you think he wants to play? You wanna tell me what game it is? Okay, so he wants to play I Spy With My Little Eye. We played this a few days ago. Remember, I spy with my little eye. A couple of days ago, what did we spy for? We, we went looking for yellow and black. We're going to play a different game today. Today, Buzz said he wants to look for egg, larva, pupa, and adult. So I want you to be looking at these two walls, and I want you to tell me if you can spy these four different stages of an insect. Okay, ready, Buzz? You tell me which one first, okay? He's gonna go out of order to be super duper duper tricky. Which one do you wanna do first, Buzz? Okay, the first one he wants to do, he wants you to point to the adult. Point to it on your screen. Where is the adult on one of these walls? The adult. Hmm. Do you know? Do you know? Okay, Buzz, where's the adult? Mm -hmm. Okay, he said, this is the adult. And this is the adult. These are adults. Well done. Okay, which one are we gonna do next? Well, that took a while to change his mind. Okay, the next one he wants to do he wants you to find a larva. A larva. It's this. I'll give you a hint. No. Nope. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's the second stage. Larva. Hmm. Larva. Hmm. Did you spot it? Do you think they got it, Buzz? Let's see, <gasps> larva, hmm, here's a larva. It's the caterpillar stage. Where's the larva over here? Is that a larva? No. We know that those are adults. La larva, aquí, aquí. Larva, okay, next one. Okay, the next stage he wants you to spy is the egg stage. Can you find the egg? Where's the egg? Do you think they know? Do you guys know? 
the egg stage. Here's an A. There's a teeny, tiny, tiny egg on the leaf right there. Oh my goodness, look at these are eggs right here too. That's the egg stage, it's the first stage. Okay, last one. Let's see if you can find where the pupa is, the chrysalis stage of the butterfly pupa stage. Where is it on the wall? Do you know? Can you find it? I bet you can. There's one. There's one. There's one. That's the pupa stage. That's the third stage. Egg, larva, pupa, adult. You said egg, larva, pupa, adult. Thanks for playing with my spy with Buzz. I got to put you away now, Buzz, okay? He said bye. That was a really fun game of I Spy with Buzz. Guess what? We have our special guest here again today, Isaac Alonzo. Hola, amigos. He is going to tell you a little bit more about the four stages of an insect in Spanish, and then he's going to teach you a little bit more about uh, butterflies and the different parts of a butterfly. Take it away. Okay. Um, esto es la historia de la mariposa. Las mariposas revolotean, revolotean por las plantas. Las hembras buscan un lugar donde ponen los huevos. Los huevos se abren y salen las orugas. Más tarde, las orugas se convierten en mariposas. A la historia de cómo la mariposa pasa de ser un huevo a ser adulto se llama ciclo de vida. Aquí está el ciclo de vida. Primero son huevos. Después convierten en larvas. Después son pupas o crisalidas. Y finalmente son adultas. ¿Ok? Huevo. Larva. Pupa y crisalida. Adulta. ¿Qué es una mariposa? La mariposa es un tipo de insecto. Los insectos tienen tres pares de patas. Lo que hace un total de seis patas. Las alas de la mariposa están cubiertas de pequeños escamas. Las escamas son de distintos colores y formas diseños. Los cuerpos de los insectos se dividen en tres partes. La cabeza es la parte de adelante y es donde están los ojos y la boca. El tórax está, es la parte del medio donde están las pata, patas y las alas. El abdomen es la parte de atrás donde el insecto digiere la comida. Aquí está la cabeza con los ojos y la boca. Aquí está el tórax con las alas y los patos. Y aquí está el abdomen. El abdomen está donde digiera el comida. El fin. I hope you enjoyed our special guest reading to you about the different stages of a butterfly. And he also taught you some new stuff about the different parts of an insect. And that's the part I want to talk to you a little bit about today. So I'm going to show you that same picture that Isaac was talking about. And there's three different parts of an insect that I want you to know about. The head, cabeza, see, with the, with your, uh, with the eyes and the mouth. The thorax, which always has the legs and the wings, and the abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen. Three different parts. 
All insects have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. All of them, ladybugs, bees, mariposas, butterflies, grasshoppers, hands, head, thorax, abdomen. They all have it and they all have six legs. Did you hear Isaac talk about six legs? They have six legs. So in this picture, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. They have six legs. All insects have six legs. So you can figure out if you're looking at something, whether it's an insect or not an insect, because you know it needs to have three body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, and six legs, okay? So we're gonna play a game now called insect, not an insect. And what I have here are some pictures. And these pictures have either maybe an insect on them or not an insect on them. So I'm gonna show them to you one at a time and you tell me, is it an insect or not an insect? Remember an insect will have a head, a thorax and an abdomen and six legs. If it's not an insect, it will not have a head, a thorax and an abdomen and it will not have six legs. Okay, let's see. Let's see how you do. So let's see, first one I'm going to show, no, that one is too tricky. We'll start with this one. What is this? What is that? Yep, it's a bee. Is a bee an insect? That says insect. And this means no, not an insect. Is it an insect or not an insect? Right, it's an insect. Head, thorax, abdomen. It also has six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's an insect. So we're gonna put that one under the word insect right here. Okay. Let's do another one. Mm, how about this one? Is this an insect? or not an insect? Insect or not an insect? It's an insect. Oh my goodness, it has a head, thorax, abdomen, one, two, three, four, five, six legs. It is an insect. You did it. Another insect, two insects so far. Okay, how about this one? Insect or not an insect? Is it an insect or not an insect? It's not an insect, it's a bird. Does it have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen? No, it's all one body. Does it have six legs? It does not. It is not an insect. That goes under this one because this means not insect. It's not an insect. Okay, how about this one? Insect or not an insect? Hmm. Count the legs. It's an insect. Head, thorax, abdomen. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's an insect. Okay. Insect or not an insect? I know you can figure it out. It is not an insect, it's a turkey. Um, there is a head on the turkey, but there isn't a thorax or an abdomen, and he definitely does not have six legs. All right, I'm gonna start getting hard here. Let's see. Insect or not an insect? Hmm. Insect or not an insect? Ooh. This one is not an insect. What? Spiders aren't insects? No, they're not. It does look like they have a head thorax and abdomen, but look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight legs, not six. It is not an insect. That's crazy, Tom. That's going over here. 
Okay, we'll do one more. How about this one? Insect or not an insect? Insect or not an insect? It's an insect. Head, thorax, abdomen. That's a long abdomen on that one. And it's got six legs. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Also, that's the singer. It's a mosquito. This is one of my least favorite insects. This is definitely an insect. Okay, how about this one? Insect or not an insect? Insect or not an insect? Hmm. It's not an insect. It doesn't have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, and it has way too many legs going on here. There's way more than six. It is not an insect. So friends, you learned some really important things today about an insect. Do you know that an insect has to have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, and it has to have six legs? or it's not an insect. And you also are remembering about the four cycles, the four stages of, a, of an insect, an egg, a larva, a pupa, and an adult. You guys are really learning a lot about insects and being great scientists. Let's take a look and see what the project is for today. So for the project today, you're gonna to be thinking about the different parts of a butterfly. And I know that I had sent your families home some lesson plans, some ideas of projects that you can do at home with your family. And one of the, or actually a few of the different projects I put on there, we're talking about a line of symmetry. And that just means that things look the same on one side and they do on the other. Like this is symmetrical right here. There's a line right here and I can fold it and they exactly match. That's symmetrical. Okay, and so when you fold a piece of paper, you make a line of symmetry. So I folded my piece of paper in half like this to make a line of symmetry. And for this project, all you need is this piece of paper folded in half like that, and then you're gonna open it up. You're gonna need some little sheets of white paper that you can write on or that your family can write on for you. And you're going to need some paint and maybe a glue stick, but you might not even need the glue stick, honestly. Um, so if you're super duper tiny and this part's tricky for you, you can get a fear, can get your family to help you a little bit. But the cool thing about this project is all you're going to do is make a big V on your paper. I want you to start at where the line is, start where the line is, and you're going to draw one line up and another line up to make a big V. Do you see how that made a V? Yeah, that's a V. So you start from the line of symmetry, you make a V. So now you have a V, I turn it sideways, here's a V. You're gonna turn it sideways so it's gonna make your wings, okay? You're gonna take some paint, and for this, I think that using a spoon is really the best because you kinda of have to make it a little bit gloppy and you kind of use a lot of paint for this one. So I have some yellow paint here. Actually, I'm gonna start with black. Some black paint here. And I'm gonna get some on my spoon and I'm just gonna put a little dab right here at the tip of my V. And maybe I'll take some orange. Use whatever colors you want. You can do it all the same color, you can use different colors. I don't know, you're the artist in this, so you can decide how you want your butterfly to look. This orange is kind of clumpy, so I'm stirring it a little bit. Um, and you are gonna take another spoonful, maybe a little bit too much. And you're gonna put some on the line here. See how I'm kind of using a lot? And then I'm gonna put some on the line down here, like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna add some yellow. And maybe just a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Okay. And then maybe I'll add, oh, I'll go back to orange, I think. Except this time I want to make it a little bit more skinny. You don't have to. You're the artist. You can do whatever you want. I, I decided I wanted to make that a little bit more skinny. 
And then at the very end, I am going to put a little bit more black. Just do a little tiny dot there, a little tiny dot there. Okay, here's the fun part. So here's the cool thing about a line of symmetry. And the thing, the thing about insects is, is that they are all symmetrical. One wing looks just the same as the other wing. There's a line of symmetry right down the middle of that body. Lots of things in nature have, are symmetrical. They have a line of symmetry in them. So you're going to use your line of symmetry, and you are just simply going to fold your paper over like this and push it down, and then you gently smush the paint. I'm smushing it. I'm smushing it. It's being smushed. That's it. Then you open it up. This is the exciting part. You open it up and look what I made. A beautiful butterfly. But we're not done yet. We need, does it have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen? No. So we need to add a head a thorax and an abdomen. The way I like to do that is with, you can use a paintbrush or you can use a, a Q-tip. Either one works totally fine. If you don't have a paintbrush at home, you can just use a Q-tip. And we need to add a head. So I'm going to make a circle for a head. Make it a little bit bigger. And then get a little bit more paint on my Q-tip because it's not quite as dark as I want it to be. And then I need to make a thorax. Remember the wings are attached to the thorax. It's wet, it's okay, it's no biggie. Okay, that's my thorax. The wings are attached there. Gotta go all the way down, my wings are big. I'm mixing that orange a little bit. I hope you guys can see this okay at home. And then the last part is the abdomen. Remember, that's where they eat, so that goes a little bit past usually the way and the bottom of the wing. That's the abdomen. I also like to add little antennae because I think it looks cute. Plus, they have it, so might as well. Dot. Little dot at the top, dot. And look at that. I have a beautiful butterfly, but I want to add some words because I want you guys to remember and to practice the three different parts of a butterfly. Head, do you remember it? Head, thorax, abdomen, right? So your family might have to write the word out for you if you can't, aren't writing yet. That's fine. Head, thorax. Abdomen. Where is the head? You would put it by the head. And this is the cool thing. Your paint's wet, so you can just literally stick it on there. And it's kind of like glue. The thorax are where the wings are attached. That's the middle part. And the abdomen's here at the end. Sometimes I just do this to like get some glue on there for glue, or some paint on there for glue. And then I put it right here at the bottom. And you have a butterfly that says head, thorax, abdomen. If you're super duper fancy, Maybe you're ready to write the first letter of the word, and you can write H for head, and add your T for thorax, and a add your A for abdomen. And if you're really ready to write, you can just use blank rhymes and write the whole word yourself. And if you do that, I would have your family write out the words so that you can look at it, and then you can practice writing it all by yourself. Head, thorax, abdomen. Thanks for watching today. And I can't wait to see all of you. And I hope you have a good rest of the day. And we'll see you soon.